The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hello and welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Malachy's in Midtown Manhattan. It is November 30th. It is the first Sunday of Advent. Happy Advent. We're happy to have you here with us. Our presider for today's Mass is Father Robert Jerger, the Provincial of the Passionists, who lives at our residence in Pelham. Our lector is Jackie Perez, and our congregation, I'm happy to say, is Our Lady of Perpetual Help from Pelham, New York as well, one of our favorite groups. We have lit the new Advent wreath and blessed it, and so we're ready to begin our celebration together. It's the first time we're using the new prayer guide, so I hope you've received it. It's a beautiful addition. I'll tell you more about it at the end of Mass, but let's use it to begin celebrating the first Sunday of Advent. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our loving God be with you all. And, with your spirit. and as we come together today on this first Sunday of Advent, maybe it's a happy birthday to the church. We begin our year. We ask God to strengthen us and give us peace and wisdom as we approach the feast of Christmas and we ask God for tenderness and mercy as we pray together, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you while you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people, all our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Show us your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make 
from your throne and shine forth. Arouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening or at midnight or at cockcrow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. I think it is uh, probably in the DNA of most mothers to be very, very protective of their kids. And I see some of the mothers on our staff uh, nodding their heads, so obviously I, I hit a chord, that's true. I think it was true of my own mother, and as I was reading uh, this gospel today, I heard my own mother's voice in my ear because she used to say to me a lot, watch, watch. Uh, she was a woman I, I know who uh, was sometimes a little frightened because early when I was a, a little baby, there was a prowler that got into our apartment and I think she got more fearful, but a lot of times she would be saying to me, watch, and I, I grew up in Brooklyn, you know, and sometimes the streets can be a little mean. 
And so would, she would be telling me as I'm going by alleys, you know, always watch, watch, watch where you're going, watch the streets, watch the subway, look both ways, watch, watch. And one time when I was dating a girl, she said, watch that one, she's trouble. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? That uh, sense of watchfulness, that sense of um, protection that we have for those that we love. When I was reading this gospel, I was also wondering about that uh, watchfulness in terms of like impending doom of some kind, you know? If you see something, say something. Uh, watch everyone. Report a stranger. Report a strange bag. Watch, watch, watch. And sometimes we may even think that about God. I mean, I don't know how you were brought up, but I mean, sometimes I, I have that fear, you know, of God inside of me. You know, watch. Of course, you know, if you listen to this gospel, it may seem that, like, God is out to get us somehow. You know, watch. You don't know when God's coming, so you better be awake. You better be doing what you're supposed to do. Santa Claus is coming to town. Watch. Watch. But the season of Advent, I think, asks us to uh, put that aside. Maybe put that down a little bit. The season of Advent is a season where we wait for night to become light, to become day. And sometimes we have to wait for things and wait longer than we really expected we were ever going to have to wait. But we wait in a certain hope and a certain promise because as we grow in life, maybe we learn to trust God. And it's not so much watch, God's going to get you, but God's going to get you. God's going to take you, and God's going to hold you. And God's going to give you good things. And if we're not watchful, if we're not awake, we may miss it. Because sometimes in the very places where we think, or the very people we think God could not be found, are the very places that God is born in us. So these next four weeks, as we prepare for Christmas, you know, we can be distracted by an awful lot of things. But we're asked to watch, watch, just to keep vigil so that we can be open enough to the ways in which Christ might choose to be born in us. Amen? Amen. Let us pray for the coming of our Lord in our hearts and in the hearts of those in need. Our response is, come, Lord Jesus. That government leaders will use their power to end injustice, poverty, and war. We pray to the Lord. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. That during this season of watching and waiting, we may be alert to the revelation of Christ in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. For the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for Clark L. Gordon, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Loving God, hear our prayers as we pray for one another during this season of watching and waiting. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have and mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man who self made strong then we will no more withdraw from you give us new life and we will call upon Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. your power and come to save us. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. God. It's been great celebrating this first Sunday of Advent with you, the beginning of the new church year. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Our Lady of Perpetual Help School from Pelham for joining us here at St. Malachy's to help us begin the Advent season together. With the beginning of this season, we start this beautiful new prayer guide that most of you have already received in the mail. If you did not receive it, you can go to the website at thesundaymass.org and order your copy. You can download it there as well or call the number on your screen and we'd be happy to send you the new copy of the prayer guide. Also available is the book some of you received. If you did not and you would like to get it, Come Walk With Me, A Reflection of Journeying Through Life, beautiful written book by Father Paul Zalanka a passionist as well, available on the website for download, or you can call us or email us and we will send you this book. Have a wonderful week, everybody, and we'll see you back here next Sunday to continue our journey through Advent. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going Seating was a paid program for Passionist Communications.